This is Geometry Unit 3, Lesson 9 on dividing a segment in proportion. When you divide a segment in proportion, what are you actually doing? Well, let's take a look at our segment and see if we can figure it out. Let's find the coordinates of point P on the directed segment from A, negative 4, 10 to B, 6, negative 5 that partitions segment into a ratio of 3 to 2. So, what we need to figure out is how we are going to divide this segment. Well, we want to divide it in a segment of ratio of 3 to 2. So if I want to divide ratio AB into a ratio of 3 to 2, it means the segment will be divided in technically into five equal parts because this would be three parts, this would be two parts, so the total would be 3 plus 2, which is equal to five parts. And each of those segments will be equal. Now, since the ratio is 3 to 2, the larger segment will be three parts, and the smaller segment will actually be two parts. So our goal here is to take this segment and divide it into five equal parts. And then we want to figure out what three parts of the segment would be and two parts of the segment would be, what point would make the three parts and two parts. So let's try this out. Now, A is at negative 4, 10, and B is at 6, 5. There are two ways to do this. You can do this graphically, and you can do it algebraically. So we need to fit, split this segment into five equal parts. Well, that means we have to know vertical and horizontal change for the entire segment and work that out. So what is the vertical change from A to B? When I go from A to B, I want to go from A, I want to go down like this, and then that's my vertical change. So that would be delta Y. Now what is my value of delta Y? My vertical change is going to be negative 15 because I'm going down 15. All right, so this is minus 15. Now, if I want to divide this vertical change into five equal parts, I would divide it by five. So it would be negative 15 divided by five. So my overall vertical change to get it equal parts is going to be going minus three. Now, we also have to look at the horizontal change to go from A to B. All right, so we're comparing the horizontal change from A to B. So this would be delta x. And if we count here, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So delta x is equal to 10. So the horizontal change is 10. So if I divide that into 5 equal parts, 10 divided by 5 is 2. So what is that telling me? Well, from the vertical change, to divide this into 5 equal parts, we would have to go minus 3 vertically means to go down 3. And then we have to go to the right two. Because vertical change, horizontal change. Basically, we're working with the slope, just an equal, uh, splitting the slope equally. So one, two, three, one, two. 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 And we have now the segments divided into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. Now, if we want this to be in the ratio of three to two, we want one segment to be three parts and the other segment to be two parts. So if we look at the way this is split up from here to here, that would be three parts and this would be two parts. So what point splits it into three parts and two parts? Well, let's see. We went down one, two, three, it would be this point right here. That would be point P. What are the coordinates at point P? They would be at two, one. So that is graphically how we're doing this. Now, we can also do this algebraically. Now, when we're doing this algebraically, we want to think about um, what fraction of the segment are we looking at when we're looking, or the segment we want, when we're looking at this entire thing. So if we have a three to two ratio, we meet, and this means that the first segment will be what fraction of the way from A to B? Well, if we look at our segment, remember it's divided into five equal parts. One, two, three, four, five. That's pretty close. All right, those five parts are equal. A three to two ratio means it's going to divide into three to two. That's three, and that's two. What fraction of the distance from A to B, this is A and this is B, would be this point. Well, 
this would be 3 out of 5. So it's 3 fifths of the way from A to B. So remember that our horizontal change and our vertical change from the above was uh, delta X was 10 and delta Y was negative 15. That was the overall change from A to B. Now, if we take that horizontal change, which was delta X, and multiply it by 3 fifths, that would be 3 fifths of the way. So it's 3 fifths times 10. Multiply is 3 fifths times 10 is going to be 6. So the overall horizontal change is going to be 6. And the vertical change is also going to be 3 fifths of the way. We multiply that by negative 15, and that will be negative 9. So uh, the horizontal change is going to be a distance of plus 6, and the vertical change is going to be a distance of negative 9. So add these values to the coordinates of A. So if we start at A, the point A was at negative 4 tenths. And then I add that to the coordinates. To the horizontal change, that's the x. And the vertical change, we started at 10 and we go to negative 9. Or add negative 9 to it, I'm sorry. And I end up at the point p to 1. Now, that's exactly what we got in when we did this graphically. So in general, to divide the directive segment from A to B, when you have x1, y1, to B, x2, y2, in a ratio of A to B, find the point P. You have to take, this looks really complicated, but this is what we just did. You have to find the change in x, the change in y, multiply it by the ratio. Now notice the ratio here is A over A plus B. It's whatever this ratio is out of the sum of the two. That's what A and A plus B is. And then x1 and y1 would be the starting coordinates. So that's what we just did. We took the change in x and the change in y, delta x, delta y, that we did on the graph. You can do those by y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1 to get the changes. Multiply it by the ratio of the fraction that you want. So if it's a to b, you take the first one and then divide it by the sum of these two. Whatever answer you get here, you add into each of the coordinates. So for the delta x1, you add it to the x-coordinate. For the delta y1, you add it to the y-coordinate. And it gives you your proportion. So when you are doing dividing a segment into proportion, you can do it graphically by figuring out the overall delta x and delta y and count and splitting it up into the fractions you want. And then algebraically, you can do it by thinking of it as a fractional part of the segment and work it out that way. So both ways work. How you do it depends on how the question is presented. If you're asked to do it either way, you have to do it the way it's given. If you're asked to do it one way or the other, you have to show your work on how you do it. So that is dividing a segment proportionally.